Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Dorita and today I'm going to introduce you briefly the centers in the human design. First of all, what is human design? If you haven't came across it yet, it's amazing and the most profound system I have found for the self-development, self-knowledge, self-acceptance, understanding yourself as self-growth and it hides and, and contains so much help and uh, so much uh, freedom that is something we are all looking for. And uh, I found that uh, not many years ago, actually, but I ignored it. And uh, last year when I was very down and I experienced a burnout, uh, it was the, the tool, the help I was needed to stand up and start doing things differently and accept myself fully as I am and who I am and embrace that without guilt and shame. So that is uh, just a brief introduction of what human design is. And of course, I will speak about it much more. But uh, today I want to show you what are the centers in the human design briefly. So you have some idea and uh, you can start looking at yourself in the lens of the human design, which is the love and acceptance and the, the power. The human design is an uh, empowering tool, empowering uh, system. So once you dive into it, you will not see yourself any any different than being uh, a powerful uh, being on the planet didn't know about um, or who doesn't know about uh, her or her, his power. So uh, let's dive into the centers. What are the centers? Centers are like uh, if you want um, say places uh, in or around the body or in, actually in front of the body, connected to the body. They are connected to the chakras if you're familiar with that. If not, it's okay. So imagine that as a nine places uh, with or like a radius or antenna and each center has its antenna and through that, you are experiencing a certain frequency of the energy. So there is a center where you experience love, or there is a center when you experience the willpower or not. There is a center where you experience your sexuality, creativity, workflow or not. There is a center for uh, intuition and fears and so on, and stress as well, the communication, questions, ideas, answers. So uh, before I will show you a picture and go through the quickly through the centers, I want to tell you what you need to know to uh, know your centers actually. You have to know your time of birth, date, city, country. I guess the time is the the most uh, like troubled for people but I'm sure you can find it out you can find it out with your parents or there are there are actually um they're called Vedic pundits who can uh, for some fee find out for you your exact time but uh, but the exact time is very important because there can be a huge difference and you can uh, go absolutely in a different direction. So you, let's say that you should be going this way, but the chart, because of the wrong data, show you this way, you will not experience yourself fully and you will uh, burn out and or go to depression and frustration and it will be like, what the hell is going on? There is, I was saying that human design is amazing and I'm, I'm experiencing this whole shit right so make sure your data are correct and then you go anywhere on the internet you write just human design chart for free and uh, there are a lot of uh, softwares you can download for free or chart uh, sometimes with some information but for for now we just need a simple chart where you will see um your your centers basically that is what we need right now 
And yeah, if you will be willing to have a little bit more information and maybe give yourself time and contemplate on certain things, then subscribe to uh, the link, which is below, and you will receive for free a small PDF, a little guide where I'm going through the centers. And um, I'll show through some journaling prompts to help you to feel into it and see uh, what is holding you back and what you can tweak so you experience the the right vibration, what you are aiming for, for the typical or the one or all of the centers. Now you can uh, see that the center will be white. Or, or colored in. If the center is white, it means it's not defined for you. It means you are receptive to that to that particular antenna energy and or frequency, energy frequency, and you take it in, you feel it from others, and you amplify it. So you don't have consistent energy or a consistent way of experiencing it. Uh, as yourself, but you're experiencing it through the others. If the center will be colored in, means it's defined for you, and you have your own way of experiencing the, 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 the energy and also uh, dealing with that energy. So this will be uh, this will be the way how, or you will know how it is that you experience uh, the, the particular energy on that center. It's always available to you. It's reliable to you. It's always there. White center, it's coming from others, also from the stars or, or it's because there is a part of astrology in there. And uh, so the experience of the white center may be, it will be variable, will be different. So let's dive in. So this is a picture I made myself. The colors will probably will not be the same in your chart. I just like these colors and I haven't found anywhere actually that the colors would matter. Somehow, uh, I'll show if we are saying uh, that uh, center scolarating with chakras, you will see based on chakras, the colors, they are also not uh, the same as, as we know. So I just made how I, I like, and you can see it very cl clearly here as well. So it will be something like this. There will be like kind of a human, and uh, these are the nine centers, which you will see in your chart too. Now let's start. So let's talk about the first head center, which is uh, connected to Sahasrara or Crown Chakra, if you are familiar with that. If not, it's okay. So this center is um, uh, a center for inspiration, for ideas, and for uh, questions. Questions about life, the mysterious questions type of um, or mysterious type of questions about life and this person who has it defined it means colored in uh, and uh, living in the healthy expression and this person who has it defined and living in the healthy expression of the center will be walking inspiration and is inspired uh, just can find inspiration within him, him or herself. I think I will just stick with him or her sometimes, so I don't have to say it all. So there are also questions, uh, um, like doubtful questions. And that is where we are getting stuck and misunderstood because those questions, those doubts uh, that are, here in the center are meant for the world, for the information in the world. But we turn it inwards and start doubting ourselves, our abilities, our worth, and so on and so on. So if you find yourself that you are doubting yourself, then you know, uh-uh, I'm not aligned. There is something I have to tweak, I have to shift. Of course, there are, there are a lot of things you can do, but 
this is not the the topic of today. Just to know that that if you start adapting yourself. That's not the way, that's not for that. It was meant to tell the information and things in the world. And those people who there are also gates, which are not here, uh, have it defined, They're, those people are going to make a difference in the world through finding the proof why this, this information is not correct and find the proof why not and what is correct it may be uh you know they may be focused on that may feel very um attracting for them to go through that direction um of course there is also a healthy expression of the center all of them and also unhealthy and the low vibration of the center. And I mentioned all of this in the in that free guide, mini guide, which you can uh, have uh, when you subscribe to the link below, you will get it for free uh, and you can download it and go through it. Now let's go to the another center, which is called the Ajna Center, which is connected to the Ajna Chakra. And this is about also ideas and answering the questions. And, and these, these questions uh, are, or the answers are coming from, not from you, not from your mind, not from the logic, not from, from there, but coming from the connection with the higher knowledge, with the higher self, the universe, God, nature, however you want to call it. And uh, so it's connected with the memory and opinions. Now let's go down to the other center, which is the throat center, connected to Vishuddha, the throat chakra. And this center, if uh, it's called in, you have a consistent or, uh, or reliable way how to express yourself. You are able to express yourself all the time. Of course, it will also depend on um, to which center this uh, throat center is connected to. That this will be your main topic of a discussion. It's also a center for manifestation, communication, self-expression. So uh, if uh, you find out that uh, you have this uh, center um, colored in, defined, then you have a consistent way, reliable way, energy for, for expressing yourself. It can be from your G center about love, self-love, who you are. It can be about emotions. It can be about um, uh, the sense, intuitive sense, what you have. For example, it can be speaking of your mind and so on. If uh, you will find that this center is not colored in, so it's white, then uh, you may tend, for example, to seek attention because you don't feel heard, you don't feel seen. And of course, this is a lower expression of, of that, but um, it's like pressure, you know, to speak up or to, to get attention because you don't feel seen and heard. But of course, um, in uh, human design, we have uh, a way how to help those people and amplify the good vi vibration, good frequency of that center. So help you out basically when you feel like uh, that you are that person with open and seeking that attention, speaking and speaking and speaking, maybe jumping into others' uh, speech. You know, I maybe you don't like it about yourself, right? But you can't help yourself because there is a need, and of course you want to be seen, of course you want to be heard. You are a human being, a valuable human being, and you matter. So, uh, but the, your way is slightly different than, than like this, and yeah. Uh, of course, human design can help you out with that and see that you don't need to do this at all. Now, let's go to the G Center. This is my personal favorite one. And G Center is uh, is connected with the uh, Anahata Chakra, the heart chakra, also the center as well. They're probably put in the same color. Uh, there was a split many, many years ago. 
of, of that center, therefore they are two, and they have a little bit different frequency there. So the G center is about love, about self-love, love for humanity, different kind of love, unconditional love, love for yourself, love for people. And um, there is also something which is called magnetic monopole. Now, what is magnetic monopole? This is very interesting. That is, uh, which is what is uh, connected to the law of attraction. And magnetic monopole is, it's called monopole because it has one pole. And that is bringing to you, magnetizing to you. So when you are working with, when you're manifesting something, working with law of attraction, this, the, the, the magnetism, which is pulling things towards you is here. It's here. So, uh, I hope I will not forget and I will a little bit explain to you how this uh, manifestation works with these centers. But I want to go through the centers first because I will involve also another centers, but we don't know yet. Yeah, so um, if this center is defined, you have a consistent uh, way of experiencing who you are, where you are going, going direction in the life, what you love. If the center is open, those people are usually feeling like they are not loved. They are not deserving to be loved. And they are also uh, changing who they are based on who they are with. And uh, they are seeking, if it is open, they are seeking the love outside of themselves. And uh, that is not how it should be. And of course, I can understand that this is very difficult for people. I had a client, yeah, and I know many people who have this center open. And it's not easy when you are living in the low vibration of that. And again, uh, human design can help you to understand why you are feeling like this. And of course, help you to feel in an absolutely different way of uh, and seeing the power and the gift what you got when uh, this is open there is a lot of amazing there's a lot of potential in it now let's go here into the second one which is called the bill center or also heart center or uh, also ego center it's also connected to this uh, uh, sorry to the anahata chakra or the heart chakra and this is the center of willpower self-worth self-value of value valuing uh, others other time or a time or, or material world uh, things and so on so um if if this is colored in you experience uh consistent on or you know your value you have the healthy healthy self-acceptance self-love uh, self-worth here self-value the self-love is here but it's still kind of connected because it's uh, with the one chakra but anyway the main theme of this center is uh is a willpower worth value so you have the willpower to go through it and uh, you can stand to your commitments and to your promises. If this is not colored in, if this is white, then people tend to um, prove themselves. They don't feel worthy. They they need they uh, feel like they have to they have to deserve something to be valuable or they, they have the need to prove themselves to others to the, to themselves as well so it's uh, and that is very not nice very not nice feeling of of, of this uh, need to prove because you don't feel worthy maybe not worthy of love or support money relationship or whatever worthy of being um, treated in a nice way and so on and so on and uh, if this is uh, open as well, then uh, I would uh, encourage you to don't make promises unless your strategy and authority says otherwise, which we will cover in another video. But uh, don't make promises you won't keep up or you will not be able to 
to fulfill like for example maybe during the day you you feel like okay I, I may have some energy to do so uh but if it's something which is in the long term or in the long future then i would encourage you to don't make the promise because you you don't know if you will have the the willpower the time especially if you are not connected to your authority then you may end up not fulfilling it and i have to tell you uh, i uh, have a friend who has this open and she doesn't keep her promises at all and that is so making me angry and this doesn't doesn't um, create good uh, vibe in the relationship or partnership right people will start not taking you seriously or so um it's okay it's okay you are like that you're wired like that if this is uh white it's absolutely okay you just say okay i don't know yet let me tell you later okay uh you don't have to give them the answer now right um in another video, I will help you to go through the authorities, which is very, very important. And just by that, a lot of things will change in the life. Um, so, yeah, just this, this is very, it's, it's a big, I would say, because we do promises and commitments uh, all the time, especially in the work and families, right? And, and then big problems may come. So if this is open, no, it's okay. You don't have to give the promises. You don't have to know what you want all the time. It's absolutely all right. And again, in um, in my free guide, you will get uh, some more information about uh, this center, about all of the centers as well. Now, let's go to here, to this triangle, which is called emotional solar plexus. This and this. Those two, they are connected to Manipura chakra, the, the, the navel chakra. And this is emotional solar plexus, which is uh, connected to emo emotions, emotional intelligence, and also spiritual consciousness, spiritual spirituality, or connection with the spirit is here too. So now if this is colored in, you may be sure if this is colored in, in your chart this is your authority as well i will explain a little bit later so you what does it mean is that you have your own personalized uh, wave emotional wave you are let's say riding or feeling through because emotion wave goes up and down up and down uh in general there are four types of uh, the energy waves which uh, depends also on uh, the channels which are, are connected here. So you'll see. And uh, yeah, so you experience your own way and yeah, it's okay. It's totally all right. You just have to honor it. Some people or yourself, you may find yourself too much uh, emotional and so on. But you may also actually feel the same way if this is white. And I will tell you why. If this is white, it means you are picking up the energies from others and amplifying everything. Every center which is uh, white takes their energy out from or yeah, from, from others and amplify it. So if you are with someone who is angry, maybe not tell you that, like hiding it, you will feel you start feeling angry and you don't know why. Uh, so it's also recommended, for example, if your partner is uh, defined and you're not, it's white for you, and you go into argument, it's go to it, it's good to go away till both you pull down because you know imagine there is an argument and your partner has this the anger there's something is you know this the emotional way of something is happening and you pick it up so you feel angry too and you amplify it and then the argument starts and he his anger grows and your anger grows too even more so how this can end up not good right so yeah, if this is open, you are emotional empath. 
So you are empathetic to others' emotions, which is good because uh, there's a gift in it. You can help those people uh, with their emotions because you have the, the knowledge, the wisdom in the center because you experience that any other and you have the possibility to, to compare, to study, to understand, to feel. But, but the person who has uh, this define and has um, uh, also is wave define can experience only his way and may not understand. So yeah, this is about, about emotion. There are also, there's a lot of to say about, but I want to keep it short. Now let's go to this, which is called the spleen. And this is about intuition, fight flight mode and health. It's also connected to lymph system as well. And uh, here it's also a fear center. There are uh, gates which are connected with a fear as well. Um, so if this is, uh, if this is, colored in, you have your way of experiencing the um, intuition and reliable way of in, uh, intuition. If this is open, uh, um, yeah, of course, you always, you will have your intuition as well, but it's not that much reliable as for someone who has this open, but uh, you have your authority, which you rely on and your intuition is, is uh, speaking through. Of course, there are more intuition is speaking here, intuition is speaking here. So uh, there, there is more. But in general, if this is open, then you can trust your intuition about others. But for yourself, you follow your authority. If this is colored in, you have a, a consistent way of intuition. It's a reliable intuition. It's in the moment. So uh, you have to have some awareness here and uh, act upon without uh, without thinking about it or doubting it. Imagine yourself being in the forest or a jungle and uh, if there is a um, lion who is hungry and want to attack you, then, and you get this impulse to, to don't go close or run or whatever, you don't st stand and think about, okay, is it good? to run away maybe he will be nice to me maybe i can pet him or whatever right it's stupid meanwhile you will be halfway eaten by that time so uh you don't question your intuition here you act upon it may may be uh will not be logical may not have i can't say that it may be not making sense but it doesn't matter intuition is not about logic it's not about making sense. It's about you to follow it. Now, this center is a sacral center. It's connected with the Svadhisthana, the sacral chakra. And this is center uh, about work for force, work energy, life energy, sexual energy, creativity. And um, if, this, if this is defined for you, then you have consistent way of experiencing this energy and recharging the, the energy. So what you have to do is very important if you have this center defined is to, to use this energy in what you love, feel satisfied and go to bed uh, tired. And next day you will get up and you will be recharged, full of energy for another day. Now, if this center is uh, white, you work in a different way. You are not here to work, typical work from eight to four, nine to five, um, because you don't have this amount of or enough energy to do so. It will be very tiring. It can lead to burnout as well. You work in a different way. You work smarter, not harder and shorter and also you follow your body when it needs to rest it's a different workflow for those people i have the center uh, open and i was uh, living and working like i had it colored so it was one of the way uh, or the reasons why i got burnout and not one i didn't know in the time so just to know um 
that you are if this is white you are not meant to work in the typical work of uh, sense of work but in the different now this can create a lot of uh, guilt because uh, we want to keep up we are conditioned right to keep up with people and working like this like hell and hustle and hustle and hustle and enjoy later and so on but that's a very uh uh, harmful conditioning, especially for people with this center open. So if this is open, make sure uh, you work as your body allows you. And of course, yeah, you may be in the work, it may not be easy and so on. But again, human design has uh, power to help you, to empower you, to start doing things the way it's good for you. So don't be afraid to to ask for help. And the last one is the root, is the root uh, chakra or Muladhara chakra. It's uh, about adrenaline, about the pressure. This is the pressure and stress. And stress, it's a pressure to get things done. Uh, so if this is open, you may feel like under pressure, under stress to finish the things as much as quickly as you can because you feel the stress, you want the pressure and stress, you want to get rid of it. So you may do things quickly, which may lack, then in the end, it may lack of quality and you may do or make many mistakes, right? If this and the, the stress, it's, um, you are bringing it uh, inward and if you don't have this knowledge if you don't know it then you take it as your own and um it's, it's a horrible kind of feeling so and you you end up in this loop of constantly doing things and quickly and there's always something to do and you have big to-do lists right you know it's again there's a different way of work there is a different way of working with this center and if this is colored in, um, this center uh, is, uh, you have your own way of, of dealing with the stress. And even you can be very efficient under the stress. You may heard some people saying, I work amazingly under the stress. I'm very efficient. I, if I work under stress, I do nothing. I black out. I'm, I'm completely out of alignment of everything because I have this center open. So I know how it feels for people who have this open. But if you have it colored, you have your way of dealing with the stress. Uh, you have uh, the ability to be efficient under stress, and it's a it's a it's a good way. It's a gift, right? So um, enjoy it as much as you, as you can, as it allows you, and um, don't be don't be hard on yourself uh, if this is uh, the center is. Uh, uh, is open and you experience a lot of stress and you feel guilty because of um, the work quality and so on. Again, human design has amazing power to help you out with all of this and much, much more. This was just a brief in introduction. If you want to have that PDF, subscribe, you will get it where you will uh, have a little bit more information about uh, how these centers are operating in uh, low vibration and high vibration as well. So uh, another way of uh, working on these centers is, of course, to have a human design reading, hire a consultant, a reader, a coach, whatever we call ourselves, doesn't matter, someone who can give you more uh, or deeper insight into into these centers and help you to understand who you are and uh, yeah the reading is amazing thing I have done a couple of them myself for myself and uh, it it has huge uh, transformative potential so I highly recommend that if you uh, you would like uh, to work with me then there is as well a possibility. There will be a link you can contact me and we can schedule a reading uh otherwise there is also if a link if you want to follow me for more in the facebook or you can subscribe to the channel where i will post more videos 
more information so uh you will get um you get more information <laughs> basically about uh, the human design and my way of approaching it and if that resonates with you then i'm very happy to share it even more uh, with you because I totally fall in love with it and I'm happy, 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 happy to help you out and see how powerful you are and help you to empower yourself because, you know, I don't believe that we are here to suffer. I don't believe uh, in this uh, way of enlightenment or, or good life through suffering and all these ascetic words if you're in the spiritual world or that you are spiritual and you you have to go for poverty and, non and this is all nonsense we all are divine beings we all are and why we would why would divine or god want us to suffer like it doesn't make sense to me right so I don't believe in this and I don't like it and I don't want it. I don't want it for myself. I don't want it for people because we just deserve to live in abundance as we are meant to. Just we go through some little lessons here and there to understand things. But this is another topic. I could talk and talk and talk, which I want to keep this short. Um, so yeah, this, this is everything for today. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, of course, there is information how to contact me through the email, Facebook, um, subscribe, follow, uh, send a friendship and uh, talk to you soon. I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. I hope, uh, hope uh, you saw, if you have your chart with, uh, with me, you saw also some already amazing things about yourself right um have a good day and um see you soon